What's up, everybody? This is Sean. This is Alan. And this is Inside the Square, the wrestling podcast, coming at you almost every Saturday from Sunny St. Mary's, California, Maryland. A lot to unpack this week. We just had Bash in Berlin. It was really good. It was phenomenal. I was kind of surprised uh, how how quickly they got done with the matches, how fluid it was, uh, very few botches, uh, and it was just very clean, very clean production. I really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it too. Let's start off from the top. Cody defeated defeated Kevin Owens. What do you think about that match? Really good. I like that match too. Uh, it had a lot going on in it. Um, I think Cody Rhodes was faking an injury. Yeah, I do too. I, I think he's faking an injury. Homelander I, Cody. I think Cody's about to turn heel. B or Kevin Owens. No, I think because Kevin didn't do it. Randy didn't do it. No, I think it's going to be Cody. Homelander Cody. And Cody is a really good heel if you've never really seen him be a heel before. He had the belt for 148 days. That's yeah. honestly a really good reign. That's a good run. But I think they can get more out of him yes. if they turn him just like just like Roman Reigns, turn him to the dark side, and the dude just excels. With Paul Heyman. The dude, uh, to be honest with you, Paul Heyman, he's managed a lot of good talent. If he manages Cody, that will be excellent. We haven't seen Paul Heyman in a while. Yeah. yeah. So we don't know who's that, who little birdie is whispering in Cody's ear either. Me like, neither. It's interesting. Like I said, it gives, Cody is so, you know, now he's so wholesome and homegrown. And he does stuff with dogs. And people forget the dude was a part of Bullet Club. <laughs> Bullet Club was so good. Too sweet. You know, they, they don't realize he was part of Bullet Club. Dude was a major heel in New Japan Pro. Get AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, and Luke Gallows. And you got the Bullet Club 3.0. Going against the bloodline. Going through, yeah, and some of the guys in the blood, the, you know, uh, God, uh, Gorillas of Destiny, which is so, which is Tonga Loa and Tanga, whatever the hell, Tama his name Tonga, is, whatever the shit his name is. Those two dudes were part of Bullet Club too. Yeah, they which, could join Cody. Yeah, it's it's a wild scenario type thing, but like I said, Cody had a really good match. Uh, I think he K-Fab an injury. Yeah. But it was a good match. Kevin Owens is a really good wrestler, man. Yeah, he hasn't had a singles belt in a long time. Yeah, it, it was interesting uh, how they pointed that out. I was like, hmm, I, I don't remember him being a, the champ for a long time. That was 2017. Yeah, that was a while. That's a while ago, man. Yeah. Uh, moving on, Bianca and Jay. They won the women's title. I think it was a smart move, but Bianca Belair is going to turn heel so soon. What do you think about that match? Actually, really good. I, I hate, I, even though I, it's obvious that, you know, someone's going to bother her hair. I really hate when they script the matches around, you know, tussling over her hair. It, get, it gets so old, man. It, Am I the only one thinking this? Am I taking crazy pills? No. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. a, a common theme in her match. Oh, let me pull her hair. Man, just rustle. Because if you get away from that bull jive with her hair. You're going to get the hair whip. What I'm saying is she's very fluid in the ring. I think people uh, don't realize how smooth she looks in person. We've seen her in person. A lot. A lot. Well, what I'm saying we've been to you know a few matches with her in person. Her matches are so good. And she's very fluid in the ring. Yeah. Makes very few mistakes. And, and is super athletic. Like, Jake Cargill made a little bit of mistakes, but she picked it up. She wrestled. This was the best match I've ever seen her wrestling. Yeah. I'm not going to lie to you. And that Me finisher, neither. that finisher at the end is crazy. Yeah. A almost, German uh, suplex uh, with a kick. Almost like Jaded Part 2. Yes. It's really crazy that how, yeah. how smooth it looks. And I'm like they've been they've been in they've been in the performance and the practice in that move. I think Alba Fire is a better wrestler than Isla Dawn. Yes, I agree with you. Mm-hmm. I agree with you 100. percent She's really good though. Both of them are really good. Yeah, but Alba Fire is. I mean, she's been UK WWE NXT UK champion. She was she was that champion for a for, long time. For like what was it almost a year? Yeah, over a year. Yeah, she's really good. It's just I don't know. I think people forget. You know, some of the NXT UK wrestlers. She lost to Nicolas Sanamora. And Sanamora was really good, too. Yeah. Let's get back on topic. Yeah. 
Next up, Liv and Dom, they lose to the Terror Twins, the Twin Terrors, the twi- Terror Twins, whatever they call themselves now. So good. That it was, was a good so match. good. Good match. Uh, had a lot of drama to it. Liv Morgan, like, she got saved by Rhea Ripley. Liv Morgan's a pretty good wrestler, man. I, 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 I do not, I was not a fan of her over the years, but she's won me over. What Dominic Mysterio won you over in 2022. Dominic can wrestle. Yeah. Let, let me, let's preface it by saying that Dominic Mysterio can wrestle, period. Like, he put Dominic over Damian Priest. Did. Dominic can wrestle, man. I yeah. think if he had a monster push. He, it would be for Braun Breaker's belt. I think he could be world champion one day. Yeah. I really do. I, I think he should go for a mid-card belt first because that's probably a smart idea because if Braun Breaker squashes him, like, Judgment Day would try to help him. Dominic has been in the wrestling space for, for 18, a long for 18 time. years. Almost Eight, over a decade. No, no. 18 years is almost two decades. Yeah. This man's not 30 yet. No. That, he's not in his prime his career yet. Yeah, he's not even 30 yet. No. This dude knows wrestling inside out. He knows how to be a good heel. He knows how to be a face. And he does... He does a lot of stuff in the ring, man. He's he's fun to watch. Like Rey Mysterio just roasting Dominic Mysterio. Rey Mysterio's funny, man. Yeah. He's funny. But I really like uh, that match, the the, the blended uh, tag team match. It's interesting, like I said, to see mm-hmm. Damian Priest. Cause, you know, they without call, a belt. Without a belt. Because now they call him the Punisher. I'm like, oh, snap. They, you know, because his old name and... Um, Ring of Honor was Punishment Martinez. I want to see Damian Priest win the Intercontinental Championship. I like to see him with some gold around his belt. Yeah, his uh, his, his waist, man. He's really talented. It's weird because you now they have these guys are older. Yeah, Damian Priest, Finn Balor, Finn Balor, uh, L.A. Knight. These guys are in their forties. Yeah, and so they're still wrestling. They still look good. They really, I mean, they're just some special about them. And it's like you see these guys, and it's like. You know, and we keep. I always say WWE. You know, they develop talent really well. Well, I see the point in how they're doing it because they're keeping the top guys, the top guys, and the guys that's going to come after them. They're building them up in the performance center through NXT, and um, you know, and posting them from the different indie leagues. Like Finn Balor's been with WWE like over a decade. Yeah, and Balor's the prime of his career was not in WWE. No, it wasn't. It was New Japan Pro. Yeah, it's just like AJ Styles. The prime of his career was in TNA. He's he built TNA. He did. Yeah, that's the house AJ Styles for a built. long time. Period. Uh, all right, moving on. Gunther defeats Randy Orton. What do you think about Smart that? Smart move. I mean, what do you think about the match? Really good. What do you rate it? Ten. It had everything. I don't think I would rate it a ten. I'd give it a nine. Uh, it was really well done, really but Gunther, good choreographed and scripted. But Gunther was getting his behind kick. I, ne- I we talked about this when we were watching the match. I had never seen Gunther get his ass kicked that bad by Randy Orton. And you see the 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 paradigm shift in the narrative of Gunther is you know a juggernaut. He can beat it. Randy was giving him the business. Yes. Randy was whooping his ass. I, I mean, I, I thought Gunther was going to lose that title, but my mind's like, is he's going to retain? I told you from the beginning, was once he started getting his bass whooped and his arm was hurt, and they had to kind of like script it like he was getting beat down and he's just going to come back and win it like Superman. And he did. You remember he went through a table? That was wild. Randy built the steps, lifted him up, and put him in like a, I don't know, what was that? Like the same move people go through a table? No, 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 Alan. It's a, it's, it's almost like a suplex, but a side suplex. He always does that. Yeah. And it was like a sidewalk slam almost. And he tore that table up. It was ugly. Yes. And I was like, damn. Uh, you know, it, but he beat Gunther up. Yeah, he did. And I'd never seen that. Like, even Dragunov, and Dra- he and Dragunov uh, wrestled um, years ago went for the WWE UK NX- NXT UK Championship. He had to beat Gunther to hell. And that match lasts like 45, almost 50 minutes. Awesome match. It was ugly, but it was a good ugly. But uh, Randy didn't, you know, he don't really have those kind of matches. Randy Orton is very smooth in the ring. Yeah. Not say that Dragunov is not, but it was interesting seeing um, Gunther not be so dominant. 
That was different. It was different, man. And Randy kind of showed, like, I still got gas in the tank, Playboy. And he does. And he does. Randy, uh, he really, I wouldn't say carried the match. But Gunther did. Mm, I don't know. It was kind of a good even 50-50 split. Yeah. That, you know, Gunther had a lot of moments. Randy had a lot of moments. And his intro yeah. when he came out, that looked like a video game. It did. Did anybody else notice that? I actually noticed that. I was that. like, this, this doesn't look real. It looks like it's created through AI or something. But that's that's Randy Orton, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, shout out to Randy Orton for putting on a one hell of a match. All right, we're gonna move on to some results in AEW All In. We have a new AEW champion. We're a little we're, we're a little late to the party on this, but we got a new AEW champion, Brian Danielson, the American Dragon. He defeated Swerve. What do you uh, think about that? Like what I said, like who's gonna beat Swerve Strickland? I think I said Will Ospreay and Brian Danielson. You did. I I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, I think he's a transitional champion for two months, and Swerve Strickland's going to win it back. You might be right. I I I just don't. When I think of Brian Danielson, I think he's a really good wrestler. He's been WWE champion a few times. He's, I mean, he's he's talented. Let me let me preface it by saying that he's very talented. But I do not think he's the future of a wrestling company. Swerve Strickland is. Swerve, yes, I agree with you. Swerve, Will Ospreay, Ricochet. It, you know, I think those dudes are like the future of that company. Yeah. Well, I, 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 really hope, I hope they do not bury Ricochet. I hope they don't bury Ricochet either. Yeah, if, for those who don't know, Ricochet is all elite. Like, it broke my heart. It hey, did. I was happy to see him. Man. I was happy to see him come out, man. Because guess what? He should have stayed in WWE. Hey, you can't stay with... You, don't, you shouldn't... St- you shouldn't stay where people don't – where you are not celebrated. If you are not celebrated in that space, you should not be in that space. They should not treat you – not to say that he was treated badly or poorly, but if they say, hey, you know, we're not going to pay you this money. We're not going to sign you, resign you. You need to go find somewhere else to go. Go. Guess what? They just told you they don't want you. Leave. Go somewhere else. And that's what he did. Mm-hmm. That's, what, that's what he did. And that's, you know, that's what anything in life. If someone does not celebrate your presence or does not – you know, think that you add value to something in a space, leave that space. Those are not your friends. Those are not your people. Yeah. They're not your people. And I agree with what he did. He made a he made a business decision best for him and best for his family. And that's what he did. And let's see what he does. And he kind of showed out, you know, he showed why he should be on. He's must see TV. I have to agree. You're going to look at Ricochet. Look at his matches, his matches he's done over the years he's been wrestling. Are you going to tell me you don't know how to use that dude? AEW should use him. Well, what I'm saying is WWE is going to say we don't know how to. Get the hell out of here with that. Yeah. Get the hell out of here with that. You're going to see a dude like Ricochet say, I don't know how to, I don't know how to book him. I don't know how to rifle him. The dude can do anything. He can. He can do anything. He's Superman. He is Superman in the ring, and you're going to tell me you don't know what to do with him? So get your paper, Ricochet, get your bread, get stay on damn TV. You know, I, I that dude is he's phenomenal. We've seen him live. Amazing. We've seen him live, and the dude is incredible in the ring. So I, I agree with what he did. I, I felt bad that he left, but at the same time, life goes on. Yeah. WWE is, is not the only show in town. No, it ain't. I'm off my soapbox. Uh, Will Ospreay, he defeats MJF for the inter- international title. Well, I guess, <laughs> what, what did MJF call it? The, the American Championship. American Championship. Mm-hmm. Now it's the international championship. Now like Back again since Will Ospreay won it. Um, he had a moment. Um, MJF's a really good wrestler. Ospreay's a great wrestler. It's funny, like I said, to see Osprey, you know, because they're at Wembley Stadium, and his people were at the at the thing. You know, he's taking pictures with his family. That was like a moment for him, man. It was. That was a really big moment for Osprey. Will Osprey. Um, I think wrestling needs more stuff like that, man, to showcase. You know, not just the wrestlers. And I think Tony Khan did a good job with that. I don't know if it was him that did this or it was all Will Osprey generated, but you know, having the families there to celebrate with the champions that that makes it more makes it feel organic like it's like it's special i agree with you because i love i love when um it was years ago now it was dijak he was wrestling who was he wrestling 
and he had his I think it might have been dragging off. Yeah. And he had his family uh ringside. He told his wife to take his kid away from away from the ringside cuz he didn't want him to see this. And I was like that's interesting, you know. Yeah, smart. Smart cuz it was a violent match. He and Dragon off had a knockdown. That was one of the better matches I've seen Dijak Russell. That too. was in NXT. Yeah, and it was crazy. And like I said, you see dudes like Dijak and you like you can't figure out what to do with that dude. He almost beat Obafemi for the belt. Dijak was special, man. It was special. It, I was, it's sad that they, he had to get cut. But like I said, uh, it's interesting having um, a family moment like that, like after the match and stuff like that. And you could tell it meant a lot to him, too. Yeah. Because he started crying and bawling. And I was just like, damn, man. And this guy's won belts all over the place. Yeah, he did. He's, you know, he's headlined a lot of different wrestling organizations going you know, going all everywhere you can think of. And main eventer. And a main eventer. He's had he had a crazy match against Ricochet years ago. Yeah. Imagine they can recreate that magic. That would be pretty special. It'd be special. Uh, yes, I agree with you. Hundred percent. Uh Mariah May defeats Tony Storm. A smart decision. Really? Explain it. Cause like Tony Storm had that belt for almost three hundred some days. You think Mariah May is the should be the face of AEW Women's Division? Maybe. I don't. I don't think so, man. I don't think. I don't know. If you, it, it was a really good match. It, it was. It was a good match. Le, yes, I agree with you. I think it was a good but, match. like Tony Storm. Like she had to lose the belt because just like she almost had it for three hundred and some days. Yeah, but. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hook regained his FTW belt. A- a- act. It was a good match. Come on. Come on. It was a good match. Like Chris Jericho, he carried the match. Old Chris Jericho. Old man Chris Jericho. Yeah, let's not be ages, people. Chris Jericho might be the greatest of all time, but. He's a gr- I don't. I've never heard anybody say that. He's been wrestling for like. Two decades. No, Chris Jericho's been wrestling for like thir- three decades. He's been wrestling a long time. Long time, yeah. Yes. And, you know, but uh, he's not the Jericho a lot of people remember. I Y2J. Think, uh, well, a lot of people associate Chris Jericho with his run in WWE. Yes. Or, you know, as a lion tamer, stuff like that. This is not the same Chris Jericho. No, it isn't. So I'm going to just let it go like that. Let's, let's shift some gears over to uh, TNA. Josh Alexander versus Nick Nemeth. Nick Nemeth retains. It's a different JBL angle. What do you think about that? It's actually different. I, I think, I think, and it's not been verified. If someone can verify, let, it, let us know. I think it might be something to do with a partnership between TNA and WWE. You know, I've heard rumors that, you know, JBL and or Vince McMahon wants to buy TNA. I can't imagine that being the case because they would not have a partnership with TNA if Vince McMahon bought it. TKO Endeavor would not be partners with a company with Vince McMahon. No. Would not. Absolutely not. So I think that rumor is just that. It's a rumor. So I, I just want to pause it there and... Keep it moving. Uh, Zachary Wentz is your new X Division champion. What do you think about that? Pete? Awesome. He deserved that belt. I agree with you. I agree with you. I, I think Zachary Wentz has come a long way back yeah, he did. with his redemption tour. Uh, for those who don't know, Zachary Wentz and um, Wesley. Wesley were par- tag team partners once upon a time at NXT. They were tag team champions. Uh, Zachary Wentz had some Me Too movement accusations against him sexual harassment and guess what wwe did they, they fired, caught him they fired his ass yeah um he got you know he went to you know apologized went back out that was his, his redemption story got his feet back under him and now he's you know not say he's back on top but he's he's getting there yeah so, he is. Uh, mm-hmm. shout out zachary it, wentz for, for like com- trust in the process you gotta trust in the process trust in your own talent ABC is your new TNA Tag Team Champions. What do you think about that, B? They're actually really good. I think they're excellent. I think they should be in WWE. 
How about that? <laughs> that would How be a tough that? decision for them. I think they should be in WWE. They're really talented. Yeah. And they're young. They are young. They're young. Um, speaking of young talent or good talent, um, they're supposed to have a, a was it a wrestling alliance up in Waldorf where we live at? We live in Southern Maryland. Yeah. And they're supposed to have, and guess who's supposed to be there? Mm-hmm. Hammerstone. Alexander Hammerstone? Mm hmm. He's supposed to be there. Do you want to go? Probably not. Hey, I had to put Alan on the spot. He, you see how? See, this is what I have to deal with. Uh, I'm just a Josh Alexander fan, not a Alexander Hammerstone guy. No. I got you. I feel you. Well, just think about it. You know, if you want to go, we can go. I can buy the tickets and we'll be there. It's it's in a couple weeks anyway. Um, big 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 news. Netflix is moving forward with that Vince McMahon, Mr. McMahon special. This, this docu series about Vince. McMahon. I might watch it, but I don't know. What do you think about it? You think you think Vince has completely tarnished his legacy? I think he has. Yeah, I have to. I think you. I think people are gonna remember Vince McMahon like Jeffrey Epstein. Yep, I, I really do. He has really damaged mm-hmm. his legacy. I think people, you know, it's going always a bunch of in sale fanboys who are gonna go out and. And uh, stand for Vince and say he didn't do anything wrong and bullshit like that. Well, guess what, man? The dude has done some stuff that's wrong. Yeah. He's done a lot of wrong stuff. And, you know, his, his finally his, his comeuppance has finally happened. All the stuff that you've seen in, like, some of the promos, the racism, the sexism, you know, you come to find out all that stuff was him. Yeah, it was. All that stuff was him. All the stuff with Hulk Hogan, you know. I was going to say Hulk Hogan. This this stuff is, all, you know, between him and Hulk Hogan, they're horrible people. Yeah. Horrible people. They are so horrible. if you're going off the deep end to defend some of Vince McMahon, maybe this ain't the podcast for you to listen to, man. No. But it is wild. But this Netflix special, man, it it. It's See, gonna be wild. It's gonna be wild, and be it violent. looks bad for Vince, man. Yeah, this might be the bad night. for his reputation. Well, his legacy, man. He built something that we wa- we've watched. I've watched most of my life. You've watched your entire life. Yeah. So, it's a fall from grace we have not seen in a long time. Yeah. But I plan mm-hmm. to watch it, and once we watch it, Alan and I will discuss it. Um. Uh, to the public, it, is that a good idea? Hey, it's our podcast. If they don't like it, people can people can tune out. How about that? I think it's a good idea. Yeah, I think it's a good idea too. Well, that's it for us this week. Till next week, see you down the road. Bye.